The most common way to define an acid or a base is to use the Bronsted-Lowry method, which involves looking at the transfer of protons or H plus ions from one molecule to another. There are times where the Bronsted-Lowry definition does not apply to a chemical reaction. And in those situations, we use a different method for classifying acids and bases, and that is the Lewis method. The Lewis method in the Lewis method, a Lewis acid is defined as a molecule that accepts a pair of electrons. So we're gonna write a Lewis acid is an electron pair acceptor and a Lewis base then is the opposite. This is the electron pair donor. Everything that is a Bronsted-Lowry acid can also be classified as an acid using the Lewis method. Let's look at an example. This is an example that I used when we talked about the Bronsted-Lowry definition a while ago. So this is ammonia reacting with water. And in this reaction, we are going to be producing ammonium, NH4+, and OH-. And we can, draw, we can draw the mechanism for this reaction, just like we did when we were drawing the mechanism for the, the Bronsted-Lowry version. So we're going to, I'm gonna color in blue the proton that is actually getting moved in this reaction. And I'm going to color in red the electrons that are being used to form that new nitrogen-hydrogen bond right there. And let me get another color in here. So let's use green for the oxygen-hydrogen bond that breaks and forms that lone pair, extra lone pair on the oxygen atom. And let's look at how um, these substances can be classified according to both the Bronsted-Lowry method and the Lewis method. So in the Bronsted-Lowry method, we can make a note over here, Bronsted-Lowry method, an acid is an H plus donor. And in the Bronsted-Lowry method, a base is the H plus acceptor. So if we're looking at our reaction, we have the NH3, which is picking up this extra hydrogen or accepting the extra hydrogen. So that makes this NH3 a base according to the Bronsted-Lowry method. And our water molecule, which is losing that hydrogen, getting rid of that hydrogen or donating that hydrogen, it's an acid by the Bronsted-Lowry method. So let's take a look at how this works according to the Lewis method. In the Lewis method, if we're looking at the movement of electrons, the electrons that are being donated to facilitate that hydrogen transfer, the electrons that are being donated to facilitate the hydrogen transfer are coming from the NH3. So the NH3 is the electron pair donor because it uses the lone pair on the nitrogen to move hydrogen from one molecule to another. And then what about our acid? By the Lewis method, the acid is the electron pair acceptor. So this pair of electrons that are being used to facilitate the movement of one atom from one molecule to another molecule, the, um, uh, these electrons are being accepted by the hydrogen of the acid. So this is an acid because the hydrogen accepts the lone pair and moves um, from, moves itself, we won't need to write itself, moves to the base. 
Now, the Lewis acid and base methods are pretty tricky because you can see that there is another pair of electrons that are being moved around in this reaction. And so sometimes it's hard to know which pair of electrons you should focus on. Should I focus on these guys or should I focus on these guys? I mean, really, um, like I said, it is kind of complicated and hopefully you can always rely on the Bronsted-Lowry method, which is a lot more straightforward. But if you are stuck using the Lewis method, just kind of keep in mind that you are looking for the, the electrons, the movement of electrons that are involving some sort of significant reshuffling of atoms from one molecule to another. So if we're just focusing on the HO bond being turned into a lone pair on the same atom, uh, even though this does involve a bond breaking, it doesn't involve atoms like the hydrogen being relocated from one molecule to another. So these are the electrons that we really focus on when we're um, using the Lewis method for defining an acid versus a base.